Toronto to Shanghai flight, once a day in November. Overseas Chinese welcome another heavyweight piece of good news. The Chinese Embassy in the United States has confirmed the compensation plan for the 10-year multiple round-trip visa. Moreover, the direct flight route between Canada and China has once again added flights. This is Toronto-Shanghai. According to the official website of the Chinese Embassy in the United States, starting from March 15, 2023, the Chinese government has made further adjustments to the visa and entry policies for foreigners to China. Visas issued before March 28, 2020, and still valid have been restored to use. Recently, an applicant has asked if the Chinese embassy and consulate in the United States can provide compensation for the inability to use a 10-year multiple visa due to the impact of the epidemic for nearly three years from March 28, 2020 to March 14, 2023. The following is an explanation of this issue. 1. A U.S. citizens holding multiple-year visas, issued under bilateral reciprocity agreements prior to March 28, 2020 by Chinese visa machines stationed abroad may apply for compensation if their visas temporarily lose their entry function due to the pandemic between March 28, 2020 and March 14, 2023. However, if a new multi-year multiple visa or domestic residence permit has been issued after March 28, 2020, compensation for the original multi-year multiple visa will no longer be provided. 2. Applicants can voluntarily choose whether to apply for compensation after the visa expires and expires. For those who choose compensation, the consulate can apply for a three-year multiple visa free of charge. If you choose to give up, the consulate will issue a new 10-year multiple visa for the applicant with normal fees. 3. The compensation visa shall be applied for according to the normal visa application process and material requirements. 4. In order to do a good job in related work, the Chinese embassy and consulate in the United States will no longer accept similar visa applications with a 10-year multiple visa validity period of more than half a year from now on. The parties involved may voluntarily choose whether to apply for compensation after the visa expires and expires. Toronto-Shanghai resumes one flight per day in November. Just today, the editor of our website found that the flights from Toronto to Shanghai are about to resume one flight per day in November when searching for flights from Canada to China. Before October, there was no Toronto-Shanghai direct flight every Thursday and Friday, but since November, there has been one flight every day. The ticket price is also much cheaper compared to the results of Google Flight Query, about 32,000 renminbi. On Saturday, it is cheaper, at 17,000 renminbi. The flight number of this route is MU208, and the aircraft type is Boeing 773. Departure from Pearson International Airport in Toronto at 1625 local time, lasting about 15 hours, and landing at Pudong International Airport at 19.20 local time. During the same period, the price of direct flight between Shanghai and Toronto was relatively low, about 30,000 renminbi and 13,000 renminbi respectively.